we're changing our history of right-click to allow you to make changes right here, right now. The first new feature of the Winter 2019 update, the new right-click menu. You'll gain access to completely new ways to control your design with a click of a button. The new menu makes it easier than ever to access many of the most commonly used buttons and tools. Our three favorites are the ability to convert shapes, jump to another stage, or find the item in the library. Did you draw a shape in the wrong stage? Maybe you accidentally drew a planter in the hardscape stage. Now with right-click, you can convert the hardscape to a planter all while staying in the hardscape stage. Or do you need to use a stage-specific setting to modify a drawn shape? Now it's easy to jump to the stage you need. After drawing the pool, you may need to edit the coping on your deck. No problem. Right-click on the deck and jump instantly to the hardscape stage. Or do you need to search the library for an object you've used in a design? Simply right-click on the item and show in library. Have a great furniture set, but need to add a matching accessory. Jump to the library to find the collection fast. You'll also find unique right-click menus for construction markup and page layout. Both menus were designed to make it easier to access the most commonly used buttons and tools. Our three favorite buttons are layer manipulation, object settings, and callouts. Quickly change stack order and move the layer with right-click. This makes it easy to bring small objects to the front of your plan. Click on a large tree and send it to the back, and when you need to customize or modify your 2D view, plant legend, or smart data, the Object Settings button is right there on your mouse cursor to let you make the needed changes. Even when creating your landscape plan, you'll save time by quickly adding callouts to your plants and using Select Matching to apply fills to multiple plants and trees with right-click. Still prefer the old right-click undo while drawing the shape? Now it's conveniently located on the middle mouse button. If you miss the old right-click undo, you can move the new right-click menu to your scroll wheel or middle click. We hope you keep the right-click menu where it belongs and wait a week or two before changing it. What else could we add to the winter update that you need right here, right now? You can even quickly change the color of your 3D text with the font button in the panel. Instead of heading to materials, you can change the color right in the stage you added it with the font controls. This eliminates the need to take an extra trip to the materials space. When the homeowner loves the design and you're ready to create your build-ready plans, we want it to be seamless, so we added new tools in the construction phase. First, we expanded embedded text to support symbols in lines. 24 unique symbols can be automatically added to your line. Draw the line, select the symbol, and set the spacing. This is great for creating landscape lighting layouts, plumbing runs, and irrigation plans. When creating those plumbing runs and irrigation plans, you need to see the exact height of the terrain and grade nearby. Now it's easy to add a height label to your terrain lines. Just like display heights for hardscapes, you can now display the height for terrain lines easily. And VIP 3D and Vizterra members love the ability to customize their plans with artistic fill patterns. Now you'll find eight new artistic fills to choose from, mulch, river rock, cobblestone, and five plant options, abstract palm, branches, circles, spiral, and three color. When you're ready to print your plan, you'll see the new option to add a printable border around the plan with the new margin border option. Thanks for watching. We hope you're excited about all the new tools released with this winter update. We look forward to hearing your feedback and can't wait to see what you create.